Hello everyone, this is Julio Penagos with Solve, and today I'm going to show you how to, in a very easy way, in your Google Forms, how to add simple and complex equations, adding graphs, adding geometry diagrams, and having a very nice way for students to submit answers and type math equations and diagrams and graphs uh, in your forms, which could be your quizzes, your assessments, your tests. So let's get started. So the first thing that we do is that we need to add um, an add-on from uh, the Google Chrome uh, store. So I'm going to go to Google Chrome store and I'm going to look for this add-on really quickly and the name of the add-on is called Equatio. There's other add-ons but the one I'm going to be talking about today is Equatio and when you get this, um, this uh, result, Equatio, then you're gonna get the option to add it to Chrome. I already have it installed, so I don't have that. Once you click add it to Chrome, you follow the uh, instructions, and then you're gonna start seeing this on the top right corner. You're gonna see this symbol um, that's called Equatio, which means that your extension is turned on for your Google Chrome. So why is this useful? Well, this is useful because if I wanna add um, a Google form and I wanna create a quiz or a, an assessment, so I'm gonna call this quiz number one, and I'm going to start adding questions. So the first thing I want to show you is how to add simple and a little more complex equations. So all I got to do is once you have the equation add-on turned on, what you're going to see is you're going to uh, see the symbol on your questions on your Google form, which you haven't seen before. And then you're just going to click on it and you get a menu at the bottom part of it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to be able to add equations. So you could just type your equations like 3x plus 4 equals 7. Right? And once I do it, I click insert math and what it does is it converts my equation into some picture and then I could ask questions about it like what is the value of x. So another thing that I could do here is I could add more complex equations and my favorite way to add, add more complex equations is I'm going to go insert math again click that symbol uh, and then I could I have this handwritten rec handwriting recognition tool in which I'm going to be able to add anything I want here. So I have this square root tip typed here, but I'm going to delete it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type um, what I want. So um, I'm going to go ahead and type, uh, let's say, integral of f of x dx, right? And then I could add, I could add limits to my integral, right? I could edit it here on my right side if I want to, and then I could go ahead and insert math. Obviously, um, you know, I could add any integral, I could add real functions here if I want to, and I could ask questions about it. So what value, what function will make the value of this integral equal to four? I don't know. So that's a question that just came to my mind. But notice also that what I could do is that could, if I if this is a multiple choice question, I could also add equations and diagrams to my options. So I'm not only limited to adding these equations and these expressions into my um, original question, I could also add them onto my options. Okay. The next thing I want to show you is how to add graphs. So let's say I want to, I don't want to ask this. Let's say I want to ask something about a graph. So when I uh, go to the bottom um, menu, I have this graph editor here. And then what I could do here in this graph editor is I could add equations from decimals. So what I could do is it takes me directly to decimals. I add my equations, I added this one uh, preemptively. And then uh, what I could do is I could, uh, once I have my equations, I could type any other equations like y equals seven, right? Um, and then click click enter, well, maybe I cannot see this one here. I could also move my picture, by the way, uh, my uh, graph. But let's say I have this one, and then I just want to insert my graph. And when I insert my graph again, it adds it as a picture. And then I could add many questions about this. I could add, you know, what are the intersection points? Or, any, or anything else that comes to uh, your mind when you have to ask questions about these graphs. 
So this is very interesting. Again, you could also add them in your options, uh, but this is one of the features that I really love about this, uh, that it's very easy for you to ask questions about graphs. Another thing um, that I could add here, and this is the last thing I wanna show you in terms of adding, is how to add diagram. So I'm gonna go again to the equation editor, and I'm going to select at the bottom, there's many tools. I showed you a few ones already, but I'm gonna show you this last one, which is insert math space. So I'm gonna go to insert math space. It takes me to another uh, tab, and it opens up this window for me, where I have basically a blank screen to add diagrams. And I've, there, I could have many different types of diagrams. So one of the diagrams, I could go to shapes here. When I go to shapes, I could add, for example, a circle. And I could ask questions about this circle to my students, I mean, I just add a line. I could say, well, if I have this line and I have, and if I have um, this line, right, then maybe I could ask which line is the tangent line, right? And which one is the secant line? And one thing that I could do is I could add, uh, I could label this line and I could label the circle. Um, and I could move these labels around. So I call this line, line A, and then I could call this other line, line B. And then I'm gonna be able to label this. And then when I insert it, to insert, I go to the top right corner, I click insert, and then it's going to insert my image in there. And then I could ask which line is the secant line. And then very easily, I could give two options, A or B, right? Um, so one more thing about this last thing that I wanted to show you, which is the, um, the insert math space uh, feature. So when I click on insert math space again, I get this um, another option, which is called smart shapes. And smart shapes is really interesting because it could give you grids, it could give you a protractor, fraction circle, and so on. It gives you a coordinate plane. So I could like kind of pretty much uh, put on my own coordinate plane. I could add things to this coordinate plane. I could uh, delete that you get a little menu on the right about this coordinate plane. And I could say, well, I want a 10 by 10 grid. Sorry, that was 100 by 100. I want a 10 by 10. Uh, maybe I don't want a labels and you know, so I want to add that in here. Um, I could also delete it. There's many features here that I'm, I'm not going to get to show you, but I just want to show you a few easy ones. Another thing you could add here is, for example, a fraction circle. So if I want a fraction circle and if I want uh, uh, three shaded segments and I want six segments uh, in total, uh, what I could do is this and then I could again upload it and ask questions to my students here, like loading the image. So I could add a question like, what is the probability that a random object lies on the shaded region? I mean, this question needs a few more details, but um, you get the point. Um, so this is really useful. Look at how easy I created a quiz with a simple equation, a more complex one. Uh, I could uh, add graphs. I could add diagrams to help me with geometry, probability. Um, and then one last thing that I wanted to talk about is what happens when students get this? Well, uh, if a student has the add-on um, turned on and, and installed in their Chrome browser, they're gonna be able to add, put um, submit your quiz with responses that could be edited in the math equation editor. So if I'm a student, right, and I need to respond to this question, I could respond to it using the same tools, but also the student has the ability to not only add equations and type, but they could also, also add um, diagrams. So if they wanna add something like a, a diagram as their response to this question, because maybe your question required them to insert a diagram, they could do that too, and they could click insert graph, and then you know they get that. Obviously, it says here it must be a number because that's what I made the equation originally. But uh, they could also add this type of diagrams and create diagrams in there. 
uh, obviously this is required um, this requires the students to have the Equatio editor installed, which you could prompt them to do. All right, so I guess um, what we could do is we could go back to our original goals and make sure we understand what we did. On our Google Forms, we learned how to add simple equations, adding graphs, adding geometry diagrams, and talk about student submitted answers. I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you next time.